Yes, good day. This is the Stepping Razor, the art of war. We're there with you on next Thursday. You know, the rainforest still, you know. Yes, we got five months, you know. You know, the rainforest, yeah. I want to tell you, say, oh, the dark up. <laughs> but we love it when it stays, so, you know. Yes, we love it. And farmers are supposed to love it, too. Yeah, man. So we have a very interesting program lined up for you, yeah. Yes, we're going to deal with certain issues. Some very serious issues. We're going to have some guests. So we want you just put your phone and your ears, earplug in your ears, and lock it. You understand? This is the stepping razor. Play them set of music, you know, because after the track, like, you're going to hear no more music. You know? <laughs> you're going to hear no more music, you know, believe you. I have a co-host. Yes, at the first we're going to have a co-host. We're talking about the man called Freddie McGregor, the big ship man, you know, oh, big up, big up Freddie. Yes, sir. If you take the journey, come clear that the rainforest, yeah. Yes, greetings. Really nice. Yeah, people, if you ever know I am, it's really nice. Yes. We're going to talk about some issues in the day, yeah. So, we we'll hope you, 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 you gear up feet. You understand? Yes. Well, you gear up feet. Freddie tell me, say, hey, my guy, I'm farm to get some things to me. I don't see his way I'm bringing it, you know, but I want him to tell me his way I'm bringing What good is him bring from the farm? Yeah, well, we have the farm plenty you now is sorrel. Okay. Uh, we not reached December yet, but we have enough sorrel for last two December, January, February. And um, of course, we have Kalalo. So, we know you have yeah. vegetable man. So, we're bringing some Kalalo, we're bringing some Scotch bonnet pepper. All right. So we're bringing. What else we're bringing? We're no bringing soccer. No else, soccer. No, well, we have some pepper soccer for you. All right. Take care of that personally. So, you know, say we always love the, the bridge in them more when we hear say them a plant and. Trust me, we we'll go to Freddy Farm one time and eh? Yeah, you know, pop show too. Hey, we we'll go to Freddy Farm one time and me was surprised and shocked. Me say, wait, Freddy, are you are doing all of this? Must be about about how much acre land? Twenty acre land and a pure flat land. No, we are telling you. Hey, the, oh, you are the government manager. Because we used to them, they don't want to turn over there in some yeah, housing place. Yes, houses in a different section of the community. So I don't know what the future is going to bring in terms of that. But we just are going to concentrate on food. We have enough food in our ground. And that to me is why it's important right now. Mm. And, and your, your export too? Well, we have enough. Um, like My first thing was really more or less a triangle. See how the produce would come. But um, not understanding, especially cantaloupe, we lose a whole heap of it. Spoil. Mm. We give away so much that we couldn't even give, give away enough. Mm. Um, and we never had the market ready for it. But we grow some real big cantaloupe. But this time we have it covered. So we have enough cantaloupe to come. And we have enough pumpkin to come again. Enough watermelon, enough cucumber. Yeah. Enough ginger, yeah. enough pepper, yeah. most yellow, yeah, more yeah. side there. Yeah, we love, it's all for things, man. We love it, all we love it. Things. You know what I say? I have a brethren, a little youth who used to listen to this program, you know, and I said, Boy, I'm out there. You know, say, so You make me turn farmer. I mean, I tell you about the man, I mean, I tell you about the one who called me last night. So this youth, him start plant and him start to plant cantaloupe. Okay. And about a year after him called me and said, Boy, I'm out there. I start plant cantaloupe and it'll work for me you know, because all of the hotel them I take cantaloupe from him and I have enough cantaloupe. Mm-hmm. Some would I really like hear from him now that See how well the, the hotel that. thing are going and I think most of well, the market was down hotel. Down so if I'm still planting cantaloupe, I have options at supermarkets too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Supermarkets are a good thing, but it come like it was a cantaloupe, man. Yeah, the Jamaican people now 100% with cantaloupe yet. Yeah. Yes, I mean, I love because it neither. It, 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 I mean, I love it still. kind of late to the country, yeah. in a sense. The one where me truly love is the, the, the green one. When you cut it inside of it, kind of white. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that one is called honeydew. Honeydew, yeah. Ca- yeah. We don't send the seeds to that one out here. So you export that too? Um, no, if me have enough. Eh? If me have enough. The problem with me <laughs> have right now is to have enough of everything. For export because the market is there, people want food, but we, we have to be able to have enough. One of the major problems we have now is like tractor. Tractor, so, so yeah. I think the government should have looked seriously into 
creating a, a, a situation where the farmers can have access to these things because these are the, the first stages of your production. Mm. Tractor for plow up your land, row up your thing and it, it make it easier. We have to do it the old fashioned way still. Yeah, in yeah. most cases. But who and who and far. Yeah, but we still who we have for the cars. Of course, we do of course. African style. Yeah. You know, say, a whole heap of people hear certain artists and things that travel all over the world and things. And them would like no say you have ones who really into them grown and them farming. Yeah, man. And the eye is one of them where from here you say they are farming, it's like a love for the eye come more you know, like that. Yeah. I will tell you one. You know, we have some grown people, can original grown we 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 yeah. defend, cause that's where the food come from. But one of the things we inspire me greatly, you know, is the way me see farming a foreign. Yeah. When we dip on tour and I drive California, especially when you drive from yeah. all LA to land, San Francisco, land, 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 yeah. land, land, and if you look left and right, yes, it's pure, pure food. Yes. 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 Strawberries and why we can't do it? Anything you see, yeah. you have like 10, 15 miles of it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. on the next side, what if it is the same? So I said, why we can't do that? Because all it takes is the, yeah. the, the things it need, you know, and so. We just have a go at it. The last time was Belgium. We had Belgium and the hotel we were staying was an Ibis hotel. And it's right beside a, a big farmland. And the man in my get up early, drew water out there. And I said, I want to see how they plant over here. Go over there and it was Irish potato. Mm. And you want to see how the Irish them beer and them just cap up on top of the ground. So I said, yeah. wow, amazing. But you could have just plant like that. I said, sure. Yeah, and then man. Yeah, I want to see my thing. Hey, Ray, this is the stepping razor. I know that we will spend the time to talk no. about still, but we just get an introduction to show you, say, Fred McGregor in the house today as co-host business. Yes, and we are going to go to the news, you know, and come forward. Players and them brother, Richard Spice. It's a real warriors. My warrior right now is food war. I can to my bridge in Takura. Yeah, that we feel work on you right now, you know. All the way here, I go on. Because you can't eat every day and not plant nothing. That is a crime. You should be arrested. Yes, you eat three times a day and do a little thing in the ground. Not even a little flowers. No, eh? <laughs> no, what a man, a man for do something, man. Hey, may I tell you, you know, me that plant a, a linstead, you know. Me and a bridge in a plant linstead, you know, and Takura and whatever we got over there. And, and we are plant and we get pumpkin, on top of pumpkin, we get Cucumba and all them something there and enough things. Till we are coming to us, I'm mean, not going to sell none of the food, you know. But the pumpkin is so enough that we start to sell it. <laughs> My wife just said it go out, show so and go sell some of the pumpkin. But mm. when we see how the thing go now, I say, but wait. Why people so reluctant for, for farm? But then now the bridging got dead. The bridging where the when me and him did that control, him passed away, you know. So a little while, me never really have nothing for a plan. I'm start to get frustrated now because me I said, sure, that means I'm not going to plan. So when we reach up by the yard, you know, a part of the land, you know, we start to plan. I plant quite a few things, we get down there, vegetables and them. Like I said, after a while, me realize, say, uh, the, 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 the land when they come like sun. Okay. You know, it don't have no nutrients in it. Yeah, so after about five, six years, everything on the plant and now come. It's only thing we come down there, plant and fruit tree. Mm -hmm. So all the jackfruit when we did plant almost years ago, we start to get jackfruit. Wow. You know, we see breadfruit tree when we plant start to come. Well, we see coconut tree I come up <laughs> and them things. But the vegetable part yeah. of it is where it bother me. Yeah. So we are going and going to remember a piece of land, you know, and we say, what? But why me never farm a piece of land there? Eh? More fertile. May I tell you? <laughs> May I tell you? It just make you want to farm more. It, it make me feel better now, you know. It make me feel better, say that. And then as I tell you, say, every time I go a man farm, you know, me love him more, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, may I tell you, every time I go a man farm and sow him, I do, me say, Yes, brethren. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. You see, me, you see me, me go down at um, Richie Stevens. Mm -hmm. Richie Stevens yard. <laughs> and Richie Stevens have a little. You could have all out your two and them. 
give so cause you know, you too hard them and me say it nice to you know, but me say with you when you just dig up the whole of the grass and plant the food he said no 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 my wife would have mix <laughs> so so me say alright you are you are some have a little land near my daughter they are planting why you come up there so when the man come up there, the man complain because the hill stays so, you know. It's, it's like a, yeah, it's like a 45 degrees angle down the hill, you know. He say, no, sir. Me never said don't like this yet. Anyway, that guy, no, but he say, me must come over your place. And so me get to come over there, you know. Once when me come over there, me say, yes. This is something my mother all invest in. Mm-hmm. Because when me say, you're going to build a, a kind of stage, stage and people keep show over there. Yeah. I say, yeah, you know, it's nice. And then I used to start export yeah, man. vegetable and okra and something like that. It was really nice for hear that. Yeah, but yeah. now, I dip on it now at different levels now. The more you do it, the more you love it. Yeah, I'm different levels now. So, yeah, so that's how it goes. The best thing, man. Richie just come for him, pepper them one thing, too. You know, <laughs> come regularly. Richie give me a breadfruit sucker, man, about three years ago. Yeah. And him come get breadfruit. Breadfruit are fine. Yeah. Amazing. Why you love Richard Stevens, you know? Hey, Richard Stevens, dig up the fat, dig up the, the, the grass, man. Dig up the grass and put food in the thing, man. Make your wife come love it, too. Make you put her in the dirt, too. You understand? Yeah, man. This is the stepping race. You know them say the Amazon owner is now the first trillionaire. Can't believe that. Him lick down Bill Gates, I know, you know. Bill Gates, they are third, I know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Amazon, I remember years ago, like maybe 15, 20 years ago, a pure book Amazon used to sell. Well, most of the major outlets them are closed down. Yeah. Them don't make sense against Amazon, J.C. Penny. Yeah. All the major. The man just diversify and just sell everything. Everything in control. You, order it, you get it too. Oh, <laughs> me tell you, the man, I them have. Jewel. Jewel, I carry up grocery by your hand. <laughs> when you open the door, you see it like Santa Claus come through your chimney to Toronto. You think they're about easy. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Bert? Yeah, I'm on. Bert? How old is it? How old is it? How old is Bert Samuels. Yeah, man, what's up? Yeah, you hear me? Now you're clear motor. Mr. Samuels, bless up yourself. Freddy. Freddy, Mark, Freddy, Mark, you're on the microphone. Now you hear me? Bert? Yeah, man, me do you know? No, I'm not going to say Freddy, Mark, you're going to hear you. Freddy, what? Yes, man, greetings, brother. Big shit, yes, man. sir. <laughs> All right, Bert. You know, there's certain things that we call up on you because we really want some clarification to certain things. Yeah. All right, now. We have been calling for the dismantling of our colonial legacies that has kept us in a past that yeah. is not very healthy for us. And yeah. one of those legacies is the the queen being the head of state. And we have a governor general representing Jamaica. Yeah. And representing the queen. Now we say little Barbados, I'm going to say little Barbados, mm-hmm. run in front of it and say, they have to dismantle the thing by November and get everything get going by next year. We are they will now become a republic. And not only that, because this is a serious part of the whole thing. We remember that Portia Simpson said she would get rid of the queen because Jamaica have to be um, have to have a, a queen in Jamaica, which is she shut up when she said that, you know. And I also remember that this prime minister also said that they would actually see about getting rid of the queen. Why is it and what is it that is causing these people not to recognize the importance of being a republic coming into them own? 
looking to go that route and uh, Jamaica is a uh, New York City of the Caribbean so we should be first in line as it relates to those things because we've gone through way more than these other people mm. um, and they recognize the fact that the time is now so like you said the question is what are we waiting for but remember say we used to look upon Barbils as the most British of all the Caribbean island eh? he wanted to be a yeah. British, <laughs> British, so. yes until this woman come, she changed around everything. Yeah. Everything. Yes. All right. You know that. I don't know if you know, but there is a a foot, a thing a foot to actually get rid of the monarchy in England because they say that the monarchy is costing the taxpayers too much money. Them have too much baggage and luggage. A carry that is really not conducive to healthy living in England again. Now we must get rid of those colonial and, and that we are saying, you know, it's, it's white people in England. White people in England are talking about moving the Queen as monarchy because she's just a figurehead. I don't know why we keep doing it, but uh, uh, them say she, 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 she we can tell you, we, we can, uh, uh, have the article here. Yes, see, sir. The article has said that they're trying to remove the monarchy. Say it is costing 345 million pounds annually. Yeah, bird. Bird. Yeah, me there now. Me there. Well, <laughs> you say you never hear what I said. Me never hear nothing what I said more than All right, well, I'll say it again. We in a Jamaica was always clamoring for the removal of the Queen as head of state of Jamaica. Yeah. As an independent country, so we say, it still linger through different parties, different governments. And remember that Portia had said, them troops in the need a Queen of Jamaica, which is she should have talked about. But we never see something happen this one. We say the, the present Prime Minister come and he also echo the same sentiments. I want to see nothing up there. So now we say a country that most of us look upon as the most British of all the colonies in the United Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah. Leading the way now for really become a republic. Yeah. Why is it so difficult for the Jamaican government, whether which party or the party, to recognize how important it is? Or symbolic is, or psychological it is, to really deal with the kind of public level. Why do you think it's done on my mind? Well, you know, Muta, you see, the first thing is when I me, me say the Queen, you know, I say the Queen of England, because the Queen to me is the manners of Ghana and all of this. My Queen is down in Africa. So the Queen, different from the Queen of England. Is a, is a mentality we them put away over the years, and I'm going to show you how it works now. You see, before the Mount Bay Rebellion Muta, mm. the people of St. Anne write a petition to the Queen of England and say they must suffer down here and she must help them in you know, a things wrong. That is 27 years after slavery mm. abolished. Mm. Because somehow, you know, we've heard, you know, we think that she's a benevolent person. She will, she will look yeah, after yeah. her. She hear that we're in trouble. She will help her. When is our own friend him down here? Wow. <laughs> for the plantation, wow. the man of the road, the plantation, the colonial government is her government. So, the yeah, main time is that she's helpful yeah. and she's good. Oh, yeah. So, every time yeah. we go to the court, a morning time, including this morning, the policeman must shout, God save the queen. Yeah. So, the people, there's a set of people with mentally slavery you now, where they've been in love with her, you know. Oh, call them yeah. fanatics. Yeah, they're in love with the Queen in a bridging. May I tell you that? Yeah. So they're free. Yeah. You know? I think the people are serving you when they say most Jamaican would have preferred to keep the Queen as they have said. 
Yeah, them don't want to upset her. Mm. They don't want to upset her. So, so what, what is it that is, what, what, what is it that the, the Prime Minister is a Barbie does have that the Jamaican government don't have? Well, you remember that? It opens the bars. Yeah. When, 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 the idea, when, when they exclude some of the CARICOM come to them from meeting with Trump and all them with them. Remember, the Barbie does Prime Minister says so she's not going nowhere. Uh-huh. So he's a strong, you know, he's a woman who don't play, you know? So, and the she, woman she got great principles. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So she did the, the conference down in Africa, too, you know? Remember, Muta? Yes. She, mm. she was down at, you know, the famous conference where Ajuba? Yes. Yeah. She's down there, too, you know? So she, she's a, she's an activist, you know? She's an activist to them things. I recognize that because she wasn't at the crowd at some, for, um, a regular group one, one year, uh, we have a big up in the crowd. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it, so, it used to live at Barbados 1975, 76, you say, Muta. I uh, see, you know, the store them down there, the shopping store them, uh, the, the mm. picture, picture of the queen, you know, the store them down there, you know, them, them very poor. Oh, you mean, man, they don't go down there, man, as you come in at the airport, and that you see, man, the queen picture. Yeah, yeah man. You see the queen, yeah. man, they have a picture of the queen all over Barbados, and them, yeah. them, them, them a step up more now, them embarrassed. Even them more than Jamaica. All right, so let me ask you something now. Yeah. Because this is serious now. Since the, 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 the emblem with the, 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 the Governor General Avahan, yeah, this call has gotten louder because this is a, the government of Jamaica and the Prime Minister said, well, maybe they never even know so that they depend on it. They never yeah, even know so that they depend on it. That is really a serious problem. <laughs> if they never know so they depend on it. So we no, we right. you 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 must see a man we are a chain and tell him no no with the pen lance. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I watch it me. I watch the I watch the panel. What instantly the panel? Yep. But go on, go on, go on, you muta. Sorry, Finch. Uh, yeah. Where we should I do now? Where we should other people know? Where we should I do? Well, listen, muta. In the Constitution, you have sixty-six reference to the Queen of England. Mm. 66. She's the head of the parliament. She's the head of the judiciary because the privy council belong to her. And she's the head of the cabinet. So she And she's head of the judiciary, as I said. So she's all over the constitution. So the constitution, I forgot, right over. We have to go have a referendum for get rid of her, which, if we don't public education, my name votes that she be staying up because Grenada and Anguilla. No, Antigua Rada and Grenada. Vote for oh, the Queen 2018, you know. The Queen of England. So we're careful, nice. you know, the brainwashing deep, you know. It's an yes. embarrassing thing that, you know. Oh. You know that, Muta? Hello? I don't know if Muta heard you a while ago. I hear you clearly, though. Yeah, but Muta, you know, I hear him, right? Am I still on here? Yes, yes, you are. Yeah, but, sure. but the people them can't hear. Yeah, that I said. That Grenada no and Antigua kept a referendum whether they should retain the Queen as head. And them say yes. The people them vote majority yes. Yeah, but Monty said she now have no have no referendum. No. Sometimes what are the next thing we shall do? Which I will find out. I'm not sure if I can't come into my yard, man, and say, I'm a boat, but I'm a thing around my yard. No, I'm not the boat, now keep come out. Yeah, yeah. One of the things you will shall do, too, which I will find out, you can't argue, is a same sex marriage. Shall I listen to my husband about me, You hear about that? You know, say your voice in the background, Muta, you know, I come in as strong on the phone, you know, as, as you usually do. Yeah, yeah. I say, one of the things that she's going to do is to get to my same-sex marriage. You know, I hear you good. No, I mean, I hear you good. Somebody needs to adjust your mic, because I mean, I hear you a phone not that one. one. Yeah, um, 
Both had just said a while ago, she has plans to legalize same-sex marriage in Barbados. Yes. I just try to find out if you heard about that. I think I think it will happen, you know. Yeah, of course. I don't think the shot will be recovering from both of these. Yeah, I'm bad over. Yeah, for that, you know. It's a big lab, you know, and, and all the things there. That one is complex. Bad enough. Very, very, very. Yeah. Very yeah, complex. Very complex, you know what I'm saying? Some real complex thing I deal with these yeah, days, bro. Trust me. Britain is out for punish, you know, because we're not doing it yet, you know. They're out for punish, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, it's not well, they're punish the artists, them talk out against it. Yeah. You know, it's a big I thing. Like it. Yeah. But but I want different story that you know move to yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the queen and you know, we have to move. We have to move because <laughs> the mass pass. Yeah man we're supposed uh, to get rid of that long time man. Uh, uh, Muta, Muta. Yeah all right so Muta said we have to move on still because um need to run some ad as well. Yes, they never charge you for not having your seatbelt on. I mean, I say, oh, me know you know, nobody are, are real to work in seatbelt, and I say, the government attack them. Mm. F- if them, why them, them free for your seatbelt if they don't want to wear it on them today. So, um, p- those people would have rather take the, run the risk of going out there without a mask, considering, the, considering the, the, this pandemic. And, and run the, the risk of you getting infected as opposed to wearing your mask and be safe and come back. Well, them are feeling the mask now, have nothing to do with it. See, this thing is not an ism schism thing, you know. Yeah, because you have people who are saying, no, no COVID not out there, you know. They must say, no, mm, no, no virus not out there. It's a, it's, a, it's a fluke thing. It's a, it's a fluke. Yes. Well, yeah, people have different stories about what them think happen, but we have to be realistic, you know, because we live in a real world. And to close in fast, and we have to understand what is happening. So, Ms. Worth is them a while ago. Now it's not time for them thing there. Now it's time for intelligent reasoning ab- about exactly what is going on around us for the safety of our grandchildren, not even we, because yeah. we've been through it. And but we, me too, you we know what I mean, uh, Freddie? Nobody said about <laughs> not know we, you know, be yeah. what I can see them too. Because we're there. We're there a, youth, a youth must know, say, he might help to protect me exactly. unless he directly want me for God dead. Anyway, we're going to come forward, forward, you know. We're going to take some break and come yeah. forward. Yeah. Yes, she take it away. Big ship captain. You know, we, you know, the sweetest thing, you know, is, is from the, the jam rap crews. Yeah. When the boat are move off and them say big ship sailing out the ocean. <laughs> that is that I pray four toast people by the boat. I don't think that area can accommodate not like that no. Yeah. Alright, so we could go back to this thing I know because we are talking about what them say and where we want to believe and where we think we should have used our brains and figure out, you know. The mask, to me, I don't know if you're the next person, makes sense. Mm-hmm. The mask makes sense because there's something out there. And we can't see it. And we can't see it, but mm-hmm. it, we know it's there. there. Mm-hmm. And these scientists know exactly is what. Whether if somebody didn't make it, I get it from somebody, but I, that is not my concern. No. My concern is that it's dead. There. Mm-hmm. What can we do for help for self? Not what can we do for government LV. Until. Yeah, until them, them figure out something else. Mm-hmm. And I have seen say the mask is oh, oh, oh there I see that. Oh, there I see. Mask, sanitize, and general precaution. Yes. Because look here, people are wearing masks long, long time in the motor. All ah, of like the disease there when it comes. Let me know see some pictures in the how much hundreds where yeah, everybody in a mask, mask and all of them there. That's what people do. They yeah. wear masks. Yeah. It's the easiest way of controlling it from spreading from one person to the other. Yes. So yes. we use sensibility. We can be able like we don't understand the thing are true. Rich and right. We have to do the right thing to protect ourselves and our children and grandchildren. Yes. We're smart with it. I agree with you. All right. We have some things where are uh, happening in Jamaica, you know, where kind of is, 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 is really mind blowing. And since this thing has started in Jamaica, we see the government I get praise for all them anglet. I have always been saying that it's not the government 
doing this thing, you know, is the World Health Organization giving them different step one, step two, what to do. So when you hear them say, all right, this is the time now when we're going to tell everybody to keep in. This is the time when we're going to have curfew. And people are saying, boy, the government are doing good. I now give them credit for it, you know. It's a World Health Organization. Eh? Others. Yeah, I mean, tell them, say, this is how you must go about it. But here and now, it reaches a stage you now where them say, all right, so if, if you have flattened curve now, you can't open business. And them decide they're going to open the business. And they make something named Corridor, mm-hmm. where the tourists they must go up on that part. Right? And they also let in Jamaican people now. What you find is that the Jamaican people, they were glad to come back at Jamaica. They no business about no quarantine because they no have no whole heap of days to stay here, so. Exactly. They must come and cut again. They must go run up all, down all over the place and have visit friends and family and go funeral and all them something there. So we see that happening now, but we never see it arise to the level where we see it arise now. When it start to really, really rise, really and truly when it start to rise, is during the emancipation independence celebration. Mm-hmm. It started right, but it never did. You never did yeah, get never dead so every day. Never so loud, yeah. yeah, you never did get dead every day and 100 people every day. Since the election, and that's how I mean, no, so them people, you know, me can't stop, don't like politicians, you know. <laughs> no, me can't it, stop, don't like them, you know. It not work for we. The people, them, start them election, the prime minister, they don't tell people, say, him not going to have no election, you know. And there's something that them do where we don't know about, where we really have to go find out, you know. Mm-hmm. Why is it that the Prime Minister called the election after him did done, said, three weeks before, this is not the time for no election. There's something that happened between him, said that. And the time. And when him called it, call it, something happened. I was still had time to do it, right? Oh, you mean if we still, still have time to do it? Time because call look at now. You say after the election. Mm-hmm. 14 days after, 10, 7 days after, every day, every day, up to now, 100 people every day, death every day. We have moved from, we have moved from like 10 death now to 70 oh, death in a bridge. We saw it on television. Yeah. We see people out there without masks, carry on, and we see it. And, and and these, are and the, these are the very people who are supposed to restrict those people from doing that. And I'm not saying that they're not trying, because we hear them tell people to do that. But you have to be sens- sensible too. Because if you go have that kind of crowd of people out there, and you know the Jamaican people style, yes. you're going to have indiscipline. Rebellious. But look what indiscipline is causing us now today. It's causing the numbers to rise. And we can blindly say it's not that causing. No, we, we can't. Them that, can't that, that. That, that might not be all the causes, but we know it contributes. The main cause the right now, exactly. the, the, the main cause of the spike in this corona is because them call an election mm. when them shouldn't call election but you know why them call election you know why them call election them want to validate themselves because them know say that go spike them know say the things that go spike you know say if them call an election and this and this are going to spike you know see what make we call the election and settle the score once and for all that after the election now them can't drop, pull, them can't pull me back. No. Them just go and do what they might do now. Do what do. And Everything all the little scheming and conniving things what they might do. Forget the people they mix up and don't know so they might get mixed up. It's a terrible thing. We want to make mention of an article here where we're going to call the bridging. We're going to call the bridging. So that's nice. We could have called him now still, but I don't think we'll get him now because we'll tell him four o'clock. Okay. All right. We want to read this article here. It's, it's not really an article still. This is a... A news item. This is a, a thing from Facebook where I make the rounds. Yes. So it is sent by two whole heap of people. And it's a very interesting thing. Um, um, Vernon Darby. Everybody know Vernon Darby. Mm-hmm. Everybody yeah, know Vernon know. Darby. Festival time. This yeah, that, on that. radio, everything. All right. He's the one that sent out this article. Mm-hmm. That is why it did interest me. Forget him to yes. find out. Because Vernon is also a thorough. Thorough, yes, yes. yes. Because here we know. You see me on the conspiracy thing. I don't care with nobody. If a million people believe in the conspiracy, I don't no believe in it. I don't nah, take it to you. I don't believe. From yeah. me, I don't believe it. I yeah. believe. I have to go say, no, this is what is happening. This is that. We have right. reason. So, true me, read this now. I mean, I say, okay. And then put big, big 
tough tan. Tough tan come like a little. I don't know. You have baby chum. You see, you wear me there. No, Freddy. You see, baby chum. Baby chum is, is, is oldness, you know. So I don't know if it means baby spins. Pence, you know. <laughs> yeah. I think this, this full, full tough time when I have baby spins, you know. But this article is very, very serious, though, you know. Yes. And there, there's, there's something I'm, 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 I'm trying to understand all the time. For example, an article like this one. I know you're going to read it for the people. Yes. You know, one other thing with, with, with our great majority of our people, we don't listen well. Yes. We don't pay attention well. And we don't love read. We love hear the story and talk about it. But these are people who use language where the average persons don't understand. So you hear them talk about the thing and them say some things and you claim so you understand what them say. But come back 10 years down the road and you start complaining about it. These people can come out and say, I had said it. You never understand. understand it, yes, yes. But the language where they use, where the people don't understand. And that is a problem. So we need for sometimes ratch out everything. Yeah. Like, in other words, break it down to the smallest level so the smallest person can understand. Because we suffer from that thing about here. That article is very serious. And as it relates to the Jamaican people, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is quite serious. So well, that's why I, I didn't take. In, that's why I didn't take interest in it. I take interest in it because I have read so much of these things, and I mm -hmm. said, "What we had? Why all of them is relating to America? I only for the theorists them with them at talk about the virus and the mm -hmm. this and the that, and most of them were related to America. Is really right wing people mm -hmm. who defend Trump. Yes, sending right? out. Yeah, them defend Trump, things, yeah. and them say no mass. Mm -hmm. Them actually are walk on the place. Without. And I get rid of masks. Them you know? have agenda. Yeah. Yes. So them have agenda with no masks. Trump now wear no masks. I'm mm -hmm. not telling people them for wear no masks. Mm -hmm. And then them add conspiracy on top of conspiracy feed. And the conspiracy them louder than the, the truth. Yes. See? All right. So I investigate this. And I say, what wait? I see the name on top of it. And I say, what right? No, 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 I read it. You see when you call me? Mm hmm I said, why we have to do something? Yes. I go back on the article and say, you know, say, I should have called this bridge in here for really make Speak him tell clean. me exactly yes, make him how this relate to where we are doing us or no, mm -hmm. and where we should have it know. Yes. Which most people don't have no wife, what do you call it, phone and computer for even yeah. see this. See them things, eh? So, but most people know who have phone, pass it on Facebook, mm -hmm. this and this and that. So, I don't know if I can see it in the dark here, but I'm going to read it still. All right. So, I can read where it says. And as we say, we're going to get him on the phone. I hope you are not ready to call him. If you could have called him, no, it's not nice to you. Yeah, know. You can get him because that's a short article. Yeah, it's not nice to call him. All right. Here yeah, the article say, I want the Jamaican people listen. And listen keenly. Listen to the article. Understand. The Minister of Health and Wellness. This is serious, you know. The Minister of Health and Wellness says that Jamaica is participating in the Remdesiv severe, Remdesivir, R-E-M-D-E-S-I-V-I-R, Remdesivir. I hope says that I say, arm, Remdesivir arm of the WHO. I'd like him to explain to me what is the remnants of the arm of the H W H O. I think it's a vaccination arm of the Okay. I think it's a company. Vaccination company of that name. I think so. Okay, all right, we'll find out from him. All right, make go over again. The Minister of Health and Wellness says that Jamaica is participating in the remdesivir arm of the W H O solidarity trial. Trial. Mark the word trial, trial you know. Mm -hmm. Solidarity trial. trial. This means that we will be provided with the drug through the trial, and this would be uh, available to hospitals. Mm -hmm. The trial will be available to hospitals. hospitals. You know? mm -hmm. All right. In addition, the government is also trying to formalize registration and procurement 
of the drug in Jamaica. The drug, however, is not. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say it again, you know. Not. The government, the, 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 the <laughs> why this is so Jamaica weird. is seeking Listen legal to ways to legalize the drug here in Jamaica. The drug in Jamaica, yeah. The drug, however, is not registered in its country of origin, mm-hmm. and that poses a problem. Can you imagine? The, the, the drug is not registered. We don't know where it comes from either. But they're going to send the, the, the drug go to the hospital in Jamaica. And get Jamaica to register it as what? As, yes, yes, as that what? is the question. Register it as what? All right. And Minister who? Tufton and says... From who? Eh? Register it as what? And from who? Yes. We don't know where it comes from. Yes. Tell them don't tell us which part it will come from, mm-hmm. you know. Maybe this brethren who write this have a better insight for where. So that's why we have to get him from the phone. Because maybe have a better insight in who or what is all these things happening. Minister Tufton says that... <laughs> Poses. He has spoken about this in his press conference. Well, I never hear the press conference. Neither have I. And hundreds... I bet you most people who never vote for them never hear the press conference either. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, I never hear the press conference. And this, obviously, is making the rounds. That means that the people who are sending it to who who are sending it to who never hear the press conference neither. No. So, so, we want some clarification so the, the from the thing government. Is Dr. Tufton, it would be nice if Dr. Tufton explained it to the Jamaican people. Because you see, one of the problems I have with them thing, I'm out of, the Jamaican government works with and for the Jamaican people. I always think whenever you go into some things that involve the Jamaican people, the Jamaican people should be very aware of it, whether it's money you go borrow, whether it's goods and services you trust, anything. The people first supposed to know, and if the people approve it, you go and do the people's business. Sometimes we think the thing is treated as, well, we have the people, so we can go do things on their behalf. Most things the government do is done under the auspices of the oh. government and people of Jamaica. How much does the people of Jamaica know about the businesses conducted on their behalf? Well, to the extent where we have negotiation about vaccines. And let me just say this, make the people hear this and understand this. Personally, I am not against vaccine. As I look at youth, me remember clearly when my youth and them hold up my arm, hold up with line up in a line and them use something look like a gun. It's a pie in your, mm-hmm. your arm, yes, sir. And the whole of we have that little mark there. Um, I, am, I am not even certain what vaccines those were. But so far, I can knock on wood. I grew up and read 64, I'm not sick, never sick in my life. Mm. I am not against vaccine. But I am against being vaccinated and not knowing what you are being vaccinated with. And where yes. it come from. Because for 32 years in the United States of America, they've been vaccinating children and nobody don't know what they're using. Yes. When the study concluded, it shows that they might use pig urine, mercury, and all kind of things. So we see the youth, they have autism and different things. And we wonder what really happened. No, the people must also understand that these trial vaccines, where they might try, them go Africa with it, maim and kill a whole heap of people. India, same thing. And France just run them out with them something. Why would you want to come to our country? Because we're not guinea pig now, we're a human being. Why you want to come to why would you want to come to our country to try your a vaccine? vaccine on us? Well well them say a drug, so we don't know if it's a vaccine still. Well first maybe we, that... firstly we need to know what it is yes, to come vaccinated yeah. with. Yeah, I'm and I would, I would trust that our our leaders would want to know that too. Because you can't just allow your people to take anything where you yourself don't know about. That wouldn't be fair. So this thing really needs a discussion and a serious discussion because you're talking about the lives of the Jamaican people. Not only that, I want to know if they go get up all the parliamentarians and them to take the drug. Well, we'd have to watch them take you it You know, first. see, I want to go take all the parliamentarians and to take the drug, but you want to make sure the right one them take it too. You see, the problem with this, you know, and I want the government to understand something. Maybe some of them are listening still that it's not the majority of people put on there, you know. It's a minority of mm-hmm. the population put on there. So you have a majority of people out there. Who consciously is aware of what is happening. Yes. 
Yes. And I, I mean, it is important. Me see, it becomes disimportant in the motor why me choose to come talk to you today too. So I show you which part it reach. It is important because we all have serious concerns. Because not all of us who sit down there and not talk don't understand what I'm going. Some of us choose not to speak. Yeah. But when it gets to a certain point, we need to make our voices heard. Because yeah. this is serious and this is Jamaica. Our Jamaica. Very serious. Our Jamaica land we love. It's very serious. Yeah, man, it is. Why is it that these people feel so they can make make things happen for we and don't tell we? So if this is true, if, if this that has been circulated is true, so too was one circulating about our Prime Minister. And I didn't hear the press conference, but I was told that a press, press conference was done and that he said they were fake news. Where, where, which, where, where, them, where them said that conference? Right? Um, this must have been about a day or two ago. Because there was you mean the other, the other fake news? The other news? The other <laughs> news about the vaccination. About the money with where the government gets. No, gate with Bill Gates. About the money where the government gets. Yes. Yeah, so that's fake news. That is something we are circulating. Enough, enough, enough. Yeah, I have that too. I never read it so, I. I didn't see the press conference myself. I was yeah, told I that the press conference either. was held by the Prime Minister, mm-hmm. who said it is all fake news. Yeah. Now, I have to trust the Prime Minister's judgment. It does sound to me like fake still, but yeah, like another that. story. But what I'm saying is I, I have to trust the Prime Minister because he's our Prime Minister. Mm. We trust him to do the best for us. Yeah. So, um, You know, Sir Freddie, the, I don't trust him enough. No, but I'm going to tell you. I'm going to say something else, you know. Yeah. But there was another part of the whole discussion where he supposedly said um, when it come and the country get it, those who don't wish to take it we, well, yeah, we'll have don't to take have it. to take it. And it will be free. Yes. That is them saying. Fine. Alright, there are some issues with that. Where's the vaccination coming from? Who's that's vac- a problem. Whose vaccination are you using? Yes, that's a big problem. Yeah, major. It's bigger than even the country has to know. Whose vaccination are you using? Those who do not wish to take the vaccination. What is the consequence? What is the consequences for those people? Yes. Will they be banned from traveling? Will they be banned from buying yes. food in the store? Will they be banned from going to the tax office? Yeah. Because I don't have it. So there are other issues. All of this argument over here, we need a clarification. We need a clarification yes. for all of it. We don't want yes. to wait till the time come and we buck up in at this ah, time. Ah, hold on, hold on. We just, we just, we just, While just, driving to Jamaica, there's only one radio station I listen to. Iria FM. Iria FM. Iria FM. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon sir. How are you doing? Ah, Mr. Darby, good. Give thanks for answer this call, man. Yes, sir, I'm a little bit tough, bro. So I'm a little bit what? Ah, uh, you're not loud enough. I don't know what's happening. Oh, you're not loud enough. Let me see if I can. Well, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Freddie McGregor is here with me. Freddie McGregor is here with me. Uh, Freddie, how you doing? Yes, I'm good, Vernon. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Yes, man. All right, we were just discussing your article that is making the circles on the, on, online. It is just amazing. This uh, thing must have gone around the world a few times. Of course. For your listeners, let me just state what was put up. It says, the Minister of Health and Wellness says that Jamaica is participating in the remdesivir arm of the WHO, that's the World Health Organization, Solidarity Trial. This means that we will be provided with a drug through the trial and this will be available to hospitals. In addition, the government is also trying to formalize the registration and procurement of the drug in Jamaica. The drug, however, is not registered in its country of origin and that poses a problem. Minister Tufton says that he has spoken about this in his press conferences. Okay. Now, my understanding is that a number of drugs are being tested at this time. Yes. You have vaccines and you have drugs. And this is here is a drug. Now, in the United States, my understanding is that they have given permission for emergency use of the drug. I also have heard from very reliable sources that the drug has been imported into Jamaica because persons have requested it, and I guess they can, and they've gotten permission to import the drugs. And I understand that persons are applying for permit to import more of the drugs. Because what is happening that persons know who are not suffering from COVID, they will seek help and assistance. And because 
in the United States, the drug is now approved for emergency use. I guess that's a reason for it being imported into Jamaica. Oh, 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 oh. What is the drug? What is the drug? Remdesivir. What is it made of or from? No, I can't give that kind of, because I'm not competent to give those details, but all I do know, that drug, which is um, being investigated or tested by, uh, I think it's called Jillian Sciences, it falls under the whole group of WHO. They call it Solidarity. And the various countries are working together as a team. So, from what I understand, it is not as clandestine as what some of us might think, but there needs to be more communication. That is why persons are very suspicious. And probably to be better if the medical profession communicates some more. But what I find in Jamaica is that doctors, they get into political arguments. They complain about what they ought to get. Which nothing is wrong with that. But what we need, we need doctors who come out and help to educate us. Because we do know that persons are quite skeptical of politicians. All right, Mr. Mr. Darby, yes. I can't mention a line in the, 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 the article. It said, the drug, however, is not registered in the country of origin. What do you mean by that? My understanding to be the United States. But also, I'm trying to find the habit here, but in the United States, they have authorize its use for emergency purposes because a drug has to go to a number of procedures before it is it can be accepted. FDA. The Republic test it on animals and various things they have and the persons who and I think that probably is wrong here, that persons are getting the wrong impression. Uh, persons are under the impression that persons are forced to take the drug. No, 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 no. Right across the world, persons volunteer to take the drug and be part of the whole test group in different countries. So it is not forced on anyone. But I also know that when we get ill and we go to the doctor, a drug is prescribed. Now we can say to the doctor that we are taking it and sometimes the doctor might ask you if you are allergic to penicillin, for example. So the argument that persons will be forced, no, no. No way in the world are you forced to take it. Uh, and nobody, nobody will need a card to travel if them don't, don't take it. it. What's that? There is a theory that that's that. speculation but what can happen is that a country might say unless you have been vaccinated again so they will not admit you yes. yeah, we, we, we don't have any control over that because it's a yes. country that's the regulation in terms of entering its, its um, uh, coffee its borders and that's their prerogative okay um, I, I, I listened to something that you just said Vernon you said there are vaccines and there are drugs. Am I correct? Yeah. All right. So we know that there are over nine companies trying to develop vaccines. Right. As of now, we don't know which one is going to come up with a vaccine that is workable. Nobody knows that. Um, how effective is this drug? for the treatment of, of COVID? Well, Has it been proven to, to, so to be curing people? The, the, the pharmacists I've spoke to here, I only can tell you anecdotally, because we have to wait on the, t the test results. To get, we, don't have, we don't have that kind of information. What we do know is that persons who have taken them, it has lessened the, the time of the illness. Mm -hmm. That's what it has come out so far. But it is... You see, that's just the testing phase, and my understanding from my reading, sometimes it, it takes many, many years. But because of the impact of this drug, it's, it's a race against time to get something out. So you're, you're studying the, the, the virus, you're, doing, you're testing all these drugs. But the problem we have is that, especially in Jamaica, we need the professionals, the doctors, to speak more. While the government can speak to, for example, what they're doing in terms of curfews or restrictions and so on. I think it's best if the doctors come out and speak and say what has been discovered, what can be done, and right now we're not getting that. So what you get now, and is post, by the way, I must, be, I must make it very clear, the information that I put out is official information. I didn't concoct it at all. No. Yes. 
Thank you. That's why I call you. That's why I call you. Because persons have asked me, um, how can I verify this? It is accurate information. And if it wasn't, the minister would have disassociated himself from it already. Exactly. All right. So, Mr. Ahmed. The Prime Minister said his press conference concurred with some of the points made about the drug uh, this week. He had a press conference and he mentioned it. Um, yeah, those press conferences need to be conferences that the entire country tune into, you know. Because it is, if it is, it is that much important, yeah, it's brought before the election, we don't want things that run up and not circulate um, like yeah. that. The, the whole entire country is supposed to know what is happening in, in a and pandemic situation. Right. You, I have a suggestion. I'm going to make it to the minister because you know, Fred, I get burned by. I don't know why. I don't know who gave me the authority. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I do get very involved. I'm yeah, no problem. That the, the politicians should probably take a back seat for a while. Um, not, well, not for too long, because there are persons who love to hear the political leaders. But I think, and the news media, the news media they have a role to play too. Um, they need to get some doctors out there who, are, who the nation respect and can trust speaking to the issue. But let me tell you something. A lot of persons I must tell you are making mischief on the internet because some of the stories that I see going around, let calm this over. But what I must tell you, I think, caused this is because historically, we know what happened with the, in, in Germany, with the Nazis, and how they were testing the, the Jews and the Caribbean to all kinds of Africa, experiments. We India, in Africa, all France. In America. So with that historical background, we have to understand that this is in the people, call it the DNA, whatever you call it. It's in the people, therefore it is easy for people to misunderstand. But while some persons are, they genuinely misunderstand, there are also some serious mischief makers out there. Oh yes, I'm making major mischief. Well, so if people are searching the, searching the internet, we would know that there's lots of false, false and fake news right. out there. But so we have to pick sense from that right sense. Right now is, for example, for the government to say, get a team of doctors, go there and get the message out. And because you have to understand that Jamaica is a very um, polarized country politically. Well, not just Jamaica, countries based in general. Mm-hmm. So we have to separate the role of the politician in terms of dealing with policies, see what will be done, what the resources will be. And then probably allow the medical professionals to speak more often about this matter. All right, Mr. Darby. All right. Mm-hmm. Make us say something here you now. Because what I find is that the theory is, is lower than the truth. And because the theories get spread all over more than the truth, yes. more people believe these theories than what is true. Right. I'm, I'm trying to find out now. Just, just like how the Prime Minister and the doctor and the news staff and the radio before the election about the COVID. Why was that? Why did it stop? Right. No, I can't, but I, I, I can only say why I, that's why I said to you before that politicians have to be very careful how they come out and speak on certain matters because the moment you do something, persons become suspicious. Now, persons will conclude that the reason spoke before and it didn't take certain measures was because the election was coming up. And that is why I still, I, I believe that this is why you need to hear the professionals more. So, when you, when you, when you have to communicate a message, it's very important to know who is communicating what and how it is com- communicated. Because if you don't look at the what and the how, you can have miscommunications and that can be catastrophic. But you, you know, know that your article, article has caused a lot of fright, fright out there. there. And panic, yes. Panic. I don't know if you realize that. that. I, I would say the article, what persons have done, they have taken it and twisted it around. Uh, to That's, why That's, That's why I call you. That's why I call you. Because I said, I need to find out if the government is doing this. <laughs> I don't realize the government really are doing. I am taking your word and say it is rely on source that this is what is happening. Right, the I'm quoting you on it. Anyway, I'm going to quote you. Yeah, the quality is very bad. But um, yes, what they have done is that they have taken what I've said. And I was the one who said this is coming straight from the ministry. They are taking it now and 
he tried to make it seem as though this drug is here. As I tell you, my information, I have no proof. But I get it from very live sources that uh, organizations have gotten permission to carry the drug in. But this is on the basis that you have persons who have, you have patients who have agreed to take the drug. But what persons have done, oh. this, and let me tell you why they have done it. My Facebook page is extremely popular. And also I'm very careful of what I put there. But what these smart guys have done is take something from my page, add to it, and then it, it takes a different <laughs> thing completely. <laughs> I get that I hear you say something from Facebook and I never have to listen. The question is very bad. I'm not hearing you very well at all, Mojo. No, I have to say that. It happened to me a while on Facebook. Yes. <laughs> what you have to understand is you have some very bright persons these days that when you have brilliant persons who have nothing to do, a brilliant man can become a very dangerous one. Yes. But well, overall, it, just put me it to seems... A, almost a conflict with the government and with the medical profession. That's what it has done. And I will tell you more. In terms of the work I do, um, Freddie, I will tell you too. You know I don't joke with anybody, but I jail people. Yeah, man. But I will tell you, I go for a party. But the moment you criticize anybody about anything, you become a target. Yeah, I know. And I have, I have started when I just unread. I've been doing this kind of work for probably over 30 years. And that is really sad, too. Because we must be able to speak about issues without that kind of stuff. But, Freddie, I won't go into details. You are quite aware that I took a position on a matter which is in conflict with the person that I'm working with. And it got me to <laughs> some very hot waters. Yes. So, I'm, I'm ready to tell Jamaica. As, as a person, I try to be fair. I have my biases. But yep. I'm not going to sacrifice my credibility in order to align with anybody or any party. No, I'm not going mm-hmm. to do that. Yep. Yeah, our love you know, and dedication is to the Jamaican people and Jamaica, people. our country. Yes, exactly. Well, well you've you know, said something that I hope, I hope um, some people are listening who are in position to do these things because I think we know more than any time before need to speak directly to the Jamaican people in a manner that they understand what it is that we are doing before we do them and not to push things on the people to frighten them and scare them away and then you have all these things running up and down the place. Um, no, man, we are, we are Even intelligent you're not people. pushing this, Freddy, because other things have been pushed over the years, like laws. You only hear about mm-hmm. laws when, when they come in Parliament. The perception is there that you're pushing these things down people's throat. So we have to start doing things differently. So differently, that yes. They are consulted with. Fully agree. All right. The rumors we go out there push down the truth. <laughs> Yes, All right, yes sir. certainly. Give thanks for your input. Um, yes, Vernon, you there? Yeah, I'm here. It's quite a bad, but continue. Yes, Muta is saying give thanks for your input, and we really appreciate you calling in and sharing this. And, and I hope right. um, people listen and get a better understanding of what it is. Uh, this is all about. You know how they yes. get a better understanding? If Muta does a simple poem that would grab the attention of the people <laughs> that <laughs> way. And <laughs> <laughs> so, I play them kind of tune, I start me now, I'm not even joking still. And, and the I, revolution I, I didn't know Muta before until I heard that you have the department of management studies, but that ownership studies. The point I'm making is that if we use persons like that, we can be more effectively. Can you repeat the first part of that? I was saying that the first thing I know about Muta is a statement about you have Department of Management Studies at the university, but none for ownership studies. Now, with this poetry, it reaches home to people, very effective with the rhythm and you with your music and your voice. And I'm saying sometimes the professional must have used the culture, use creative persons like yourself to educate us, because art can be used to educate the people about science. And if we do that, we'll bridge that, that gap in terms of communication. Because sometimes we just, when the person, we, yes. we close the issue. <laughs> That's why we're here, sir. That's why we're here. Technical job Trust and me. kind of just crowd up everything. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Give thanks. Give thanks. Thank you very much. Yes, Vernon. Thank you. And keep up the good work, brother. Great talking to you guys. I'm going to keep up the work. You see now, you win back. Yes, thanks. You win back. It's great, man. Great talking to you. Fred, you have music coming, my brother. In our face. And some bridging in our community. Now them just go down there and yeah, demand them out of the store. Yeah. And demand the store close. Yeah. Yes, and lock it down. Not about oh, Mr. One in our tree. Regular citizens. Yeah. Citizens. Yes, yeah. Them take it in unknown. That's how we have to deal with the thing. So we have said Jamaica. The people them need to. All right, the only time I see the people them really get up and stand up in recent time is with the cockpit thing. Yes. That was a real concern. Yeah, with the demonstration of parliament. With the yes. demonstration of And the people must stand up and defend it, and they, they got result. No, this is what people have for the forget result. Peaceful, peaceful outcry. Yeah. Whether it's in the form of demonstration or otherwise, people have to have a medium to speak up. And those who can't speak up, we have to have some soldier to speak for them now. Because well, a demonstration is not for the people girl in Jamaica. Too, no. A demonstration is going for the little girl where they never were in school. Never, no, that was a big yeah. deal. Yeah. And, and no, man, we bring up on that big time and yeah. that big, big joke. So, yeah. them retire, retire, um, take back some things and uh, pretty it up and things. But we still know what some of them intentions are, where we are concerned. Because yeah. if you tell people to kill Rasta and Quest, they don't have to. You know, really, really, still. But we understand them things and we still remember them because I know everything we forget. But may I say, moving forward, Forward. We need to demand from our governments. Deal with we. We grew up. We understand the thing. We this generation. We understand it. Speak to us. Tell us up front what is happening. Make us know. Make we help make some decisions. Because since you work for us, <laughs> you're supposed to talk to we. And where you come to an, an understanding, I would say yes. He's going out there to to to, to seek this for us. Mm-hmm. And we are aware of it. And we understand what it is that he's seeking for us and how we yeah, help yeah. we are or we not going to help we and we can say yes or no. But me not like the idea of um it, it feel and look like uh, yeah, yeah, see. you are the yeah. boss and we yeah. are the, and yeah, yeah, and yeah, do something blind back, back yeah. like and then when it do yeah, yeah. already you come and you tell, tell we about it. Yeah. And then when we displease and talk about it, sometimes it sounds like we're fighting against a situation. No, we're not. Yeah. We're just voices for truth. And we are saying if something happened and it doesn't seem right yeah. to us and our people, then we have a right for us and we have the right to, to be answered. Yeah. And that's democracy. And you know, you have, you have things, if you don't know, you know, you build up all that thing now, you're you know. Yes. So if the government so do things, and them not tell you, know, you have things say we Just find out. Just yeah, answer. I, I, and, need and, to worry about. And to be honest, I, th- I, I think our prime minister is witty enough and smart enough. And I would want to say, don't hurt enough. For talk to him if we ask him. I think so, because I see him do it on different occasions. So it's not a situation where we are fight against any government or anything. There are certain things we understand that we don't want to happen in our country, especially coming from certain people and certain quarters, because we know their history. At the same time, we want our government to look out and protect us in, in the best way possible. But if we feel like something will go wrong, we're going to ask, and then we going to give us an answer. We're all right, and we'll move on. Yeah. Yes, we are with you as usual. You know, I the first person ever come from Goa live interview with me in a squad. What is it, five, six months? Yeah. How much? Is that the six months now? We are going at the six months now. April, April to me, June, July, August, September, October. Wow. We're gone five months. I are the ready. first person ever come here, you know? I saw it, come on. There's a time when the family yes. is necessary. Yeah, man. Yeah, first person. With it, you know? I mean, love them. I mean, yeah. this. without this program, um, for, not for the Jamaican people or the populace, um, wouldn't be as wise as they are today. Because if you have nobody to give you the information, how you going to get it? And, 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 and bef- before we close off on this mood, I may say a thing the other day, and there's a video circulate with it, but... And again, we say the theories and the thing, and, and uh, I mean, I love believe the theorism. But some things, you can actually make sense of it for yourself. And I'm going to share it with the people real quick, though. I, I, All right, well, you have to share it later. All right. You have to share it a little more, but yes. that time again, we represent to you African names for today's children. As we usually say on this program, yeah. Uh, it's time black people stop look on television and see white people and call them pick me off for the people them with them sit on the TV. It's joke business. 
Yes, you know, joke business. So you want to know, we're going to give you some name, you know. We want to start with some girl name. Um, Spiwe. You know, says the name of my granddaughter that to S-P-I-W-E means we were given. We were given. Spiwe. And Gina. And Gina. N G I N A. One who serves. One who serves. N G I N A. Chuma. C H U M A. Chuma means wealth. Chuma means wealth. C H U M A. Dimali. Dimali. D I M A L I. Dimali. Means beautiful vision. Dimali. Bibi. Bibi. Means daughter of a king. Bibi. B I B I. Daughter of a king. Okay, so here some other boy's name now. Obawola. Obawola. O B A W O L A means the king enters the house. O G O J I O G O J I means gift bearer. Gift bearer. O D O D E O D means onta. Onta. Adio. Adio, A D I O, Adio means be righteous. Be righteous. So I'm going to go over them again. Spiwe means we were given. And Gina, N G I N A, one who serves. Chuma, C H U M A, means wealth. Dimali, Dimali, D I M A L I, means beautiful vision. And Bibi means daughter of a king. Obawola, these are boys' name now. Obawola means the king enters the house. OJ, OJ I means gift bearer. Ode, O D E means hunter. And Adio, A D I O means be righteous. Black there, what kind of movie you saw them the pan these days, man? Production wise. Yes, um Steve was here last week and I'm flew in from California because Steve now live in California, the wife on me. Oh yeah? Yeah, because from Steve my baby, you know. Steve um, always signed to uh, he was signed to EMI for years. And um at the end of his deal with EMI, Sony wanted well no, I was signed to EMI for years. When I was with Polydor Records, I'd done a publishing deal with them. And like 20 years after, them come and sign Stephen. And um, we had Jeremy Harding manage Stephen. Well, Sony came after that and actually signed Stephen again because they bought EMI and they moved him to California because he was living in Florida. And the Florida market is a diet Spanish market where not a lot of music wise. Um, so they moved him to California where he can work with a wider set of artists and. They have their thing where they choose songs and artists for him to work with and him just a travel oh, yeah? all across the world, work with different people. Um, he's now have a deal, him just get a new deal with a, another record label. So he's in a position now to actually sign people and work with them and offer them good distribution. And it's the same with people like Russian, um, Dan Carleon. They mute to leave Jamaica with a vision in mind. Uh, because they reach a certain stage in Jamaica where it's like how much further them can go with the way things are going. Yeah, so they yeah. mute a branch out and it's really happening for him. Stephen Last project was John Legend's new album. He produced a title track for, for oh, that yeah. album. Sh um, what's your name? Sh um, Sharika. This is a Spanish sister. In, do a lot of work with her. He have tracks from Ray and a new album I come up. I think he's involved with Proto J album. Proto J just cover one of my songs for the album. I'm a Leela, Enough Respect, I'm a Revolution. A song named I'm a Revolutionist. I'm an Adilo Capitalist. I'm a Rasta okay. man. I'm a read Proto J for Dig Deep in my catalog and find a song there. And them cool. sang the dead and sit down. And Chino, 
Chino is in, 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 in the US now. He finished up her album. He have a new single out and a new video. I think it's produced by Ramesh and finish up his album for drop soon as well. So all of us working. I myself may work on my new album. I'm not really in any hurry. Yeah, really the tune for the new album, eh? Well, Balin is one of the songs that going to be on the album. If God is for us is another track that will be on the album. But we've recorded about 10, 12 songs already that we're working on now in the studio. Me, Dalton, Cleavy. Um, next week we have a track with me and Charlie Black, so we're going to finish up. And we just have to take our time get it all together. But it comes together nicely and next year we will have a good album i may have a single out with brahma what could i forget that yeah run dance hall brahma have a tough album massive i can tell you when you get a chance please go check that album name rough and deadly tough album from a youth like brahma who i usually see as a dance hall artist transform himself totally mm. and the album is just brilliant getting a lot of love to so good luck on that all right